Welcome everyone back to PTFS and here we have a pretty large update. So we're currently standing in Greater Rockford which I suppose is the most iconic airport in PTFS. It's been around for quite a while and for the first time in pretty much forever they have updated it and as you can see it looks nothing like its old self here. The terminal has been completely revamped. There is so much new with this airport and not only Greater Rockford but the entire island. One thing that did catch my eye straight away was the fact that they've now actually got these uh, jet bridges for um, that support the A380 uh, and 737, I believe. But anyways, it's really cool to see this. We've never actually had something like this in the game. And you can now elevate this quite a bit. I, I'd assume you can drop this down as well um, to support longer bodied aircrafts as well. Yeah, that is a really nice feature that uh, I just caught my eye at the beginning. But anyways, as you can see, the terminal has been completely revamped. Um, the cargo section has been moved over to the opposite side, so it's not directly linked to the passenger terminal. And we have kind of a, a few different parts to the passenger terminal. So this part here with a few gates there, of course, we've got some larger gates on the end. We've also got this part of the terminal as well. So yeah, the terminal has definitely been expanded quite a bit. And something else you may see is we now have three runways. Now, interesting enough, they put them right next to each other. So it is one runway, the next, and then the last one. So um, a lot of people were thinking that they put a runway over the other side or offset it a bit more but no there's three runways side by side so i'm very interested to see how this is going to work out especially for role plays but um yeah we now have three runways at greater rockford so uh, even more capacity for the airport we're inside of i suppose this is the main part of the terminal and as you can see on the right side we have the jet bridges and on the left side we just have steps down let's head over here because there is something interesting uh, let's try not to get run over by a plane. That would, first of all, be ideal. Let's go and check out the new air traffic control tower. It does actually feel a bit more cramped than the last one, mainly because we have this radar table in the middle, but incredible views. I have to say this. I think it, it does feel like it's a lot higher off the ground, or at least a bit higher, but yeah, great views over all three of the runways, the entire airport terminal. Let's go and find these stairs down. And over here, perfect, there we go, we spotted it. They have added a new badge, and you can see this, it almost looks like a moldy aircraft. But if we head over here, and we should be able to, there you go, train, fire training zone badge. Small interruption, as uh, ERC unfortunately updated at the exact same time. Anyways, we are back here uh, at Greater Rockford, so we're just checking out the air traffic control tower. If we fly over the airport and head to the city, you can see it's been developed a lot better, I think. There's less of the crazy high-rise buildings, and it looks more like an actual city. We've got one or two standout buildings, but the rest are kind of like 10, 20 stories high. We've also got some advertisements up here. Good one on the top of the buildings there. Big sponsor of the land of PTFS, I suppose. We also have a stadium, dead center in the city, and also one just outside there. The interesting thing is this one is an American football stadium and this is, well, a, a football stadium. So they've got a bit of both. We've also got some tennis, oh no, that's not tennis, uh, basketball courts over there. And then we do have some tennis courts right beside that. We've got a hospital over there. So definitely a lot of detail in the city. Another thing to note is that the entire airport is now blocked off with fences. Uh, I mean, you probably could jump over. It doesn't look like a very tall fence, but there is a fence there. And we've also got entrance gates at all of the roads entering the airport. So again, a nice detail for roleplay servers. We're now gathering at the recreation of Interlagos. This is a racetrack in Brazil, and they've actually done a really good job on recreating this inside of the game. It's got a lot of elevation changes, and it's definitely going to be fun to race ground crew vehicles around. And we're off. Electric start from uh, the driver in third place. Luckily, these vehicles do not have collisions. So we can drive. Well, yeah, there we go. No crashes expected this race, hopefully. Pretty commanding lead of this race. I think someone, yeah, someone's just cutting the entire corner by driving over the grass there. What on earth is this? Okay, we have someone cheating. Okay, they're right up into second place now. They're just going to cut the entire thing. You're going into the pit lane. Head-to-head -head racing. Oh, we got squeezed up against the wall there. I think we came second place, tied with the person who cut cut the track through the pit lane. 
So taking a look at the island as a whole, because it's quite hard to show you uh, just via free cam since it is so large now. It's now split into technically three different islands here, and you've got this very small one up the top as well. We've got Mela Airport standing on a lone island, and then we've got the two main ones which host the majority of the airports, as well as the big cities over here. Mela Airport itself has not changed. The airport remains pretty much the same, but the scenery around it has changed. We've got what looks to be some apartments, maybe some hotels, some city blocks over here. We've got a very small town by the coast. I believe that's based off of a uh, coastal British town, I believe. Very nice beach as well. And then the majority of this island is quite simply taken up by farmland. I think this is a trailer park over there. Uh, we've got a couple of houses spread over the place, but the main attraction, I suppose, is the big bridge connecting this island to the main one. Also just spotted that they actually have ads inside of the terminal now. So these are the Roblox immersive ads that they have uh, dotted around the place. So just leaving Mela Airport now and heading over this bridge. I can't exactly remember where they said this was inspired by. I think it's somewhere in Scotland as far as I'm aware. Massive, massive bridge there. And yeah, again, it looks really nice. I think they've done a great job on uh, detail in this. And it's actually quite nice to drive through as well. So this city has, of course, as well, received massive updates. I think it definitely looks a lot better. Buildings are better spread out. There's less crazy high rises and more medium, like again, 20 story high office blocks and whatnot. And yeah, I think it looks a lot nicer. Um, and then right beside here, we have an industrial district. Then if we follow the coast around, we've got some more coastal towns. We've got another RV park, I believe. And over by the White Cliffs of Dover, we have Airbase Gary. So welcome. Now, Airbase Gary, I believe the air traffic control looks, yeah, it looks pretty identical. Um, but they do have some changes inside of the building. Uh, let's do a bit of a quick tour here. So we've got the bunk rooms. Um, definitely a lot more detail than there was last time. Again, unfortunately, you can't lie down. Maybe one day we'll be able to get some, get some sleep in PTFS. Across the hallway, we have the um, dining room, I suppose, the cafeteria, the canteen. And just off of that is the meeting room or the, the briefing room, something along the lines that sit down here and get briefed before heading out on a mission. Again, with a new perimeter fence, though, it doesn't actually look like it's collidable. You can just drive through it, but again, it's a nice detail that they have added. Now, continuing through the White Cliffs of Dover, it does very much seem we've got a, again, a small town, looks like some more industrial, but apart from that, the island is pretty remote out here. Yet another airport change, and we're here in the Baltic Airfield. If you didn't see from the teaser, this is a very, very small airport right on the top of the largest, I think it's the largest mountain around here. Yeah, we are at quite a high elevation, but this seems to be some sort of luxury resort. Now, this is based on a real life location. You can see there's a nice lodge here with a pool. Perfect seating to look over the runway, so great for uh, aviation enthusiasts. Again, it is very, very small. There's only one access road to this entire place, it seems. And there isn't a lot of space to spawn aircraft. So, like, realistically, you're not going to be spawning anything too crazy up here. Yeah, so it's mainly helicopters and uh, very small prop aircrafts. This looks like a lovely place to... This looks like a lovely place to come and have a summer vacation to, though. Right on the top of the mountain. Amazing views. So that's all the major changes that we'll be covering in this update. Now, of course, you can feel free to hop into the game and explore this massive island. There is going to be a lot of Easter eggs hidden around the place, as we've already seen uh, the developers put in their videos. I'm very, very excited to utilize this island for role players. There is a lot we can do. Um, the Baltic Airfield is, of course, going to be a lovely location to land at. Apart from that, I definitely think it was worth the wait for this island revamp. So anyways, thank you everyone very much for watching this video. Unfortunate timing with the EOC and PTFS updates coming out only five minutes apart. Hopefully, um, hopefully that won't happen again in the future, but I'm um, definitely excited to try some roleplays out on this. Let me know what's your favorite part in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one.